Hello traders, this is Rich from TradeSight. This is a look at our market leading stocks for the coming session. This is going to be for Monday, December 23rd, 2013. We had our uh, option expiration this uh, this last session, so we're definitely going to see some uh, some some big, big volume. It was the uh, last quadruple witching of the year, so there was also some rebalancing being done as well, kind of in there as well so we're gonna see some uh, some huge volume numbers so d we're not gonna focus so much on the volume deviations but we're gonna really look at the uh, the VWAP and the open close deviations to see if there's any any uh, clues in addition to our usual signals so for the NASDAQ side even though we had a very very strong day we don't have a whole lot of signals here and in fact we're actually paired off here without even a bias to the buy side let's take a look at some of the spreads here in the uh, opens and closes we had a very strong close in Biogen that was up more than 2% above the day's open, and it, that one also closed strongly above the VWAP. eBay was up more than 2% above the open. That one does have an upside CPS, so that would be one that should be on your list for Monday. First Solar to the downside, more than 2% below the day's open. That one has a downside CPS, so that's going to be uh, on my list for Monday. The uh, shares of BlackBerry had a big move, uh, really big, big move above the open, and uh, very, very, very big volume. So that, that definitely could be in play, and there could be some unfinished business for next week. Moving on to the financials, as you can see, a lot of volume deviations, but we're essentially paired off here as far as signals with maybe a slight, slight upside bias just because the uh, upside CPS signals, the continuation pressure signals, tend to be very, very strong. Looking at the energy names, BTU notably weak, 4% below the day's open. Everything else is uh, fairly well... Uh, in line with what the market did, though we did have some weakness in Exxon Mobil. Looking at the overall market generals, first thing that should jump out is the uh, is the open close deviation in Best Buy that was very weak and closed below the day's open as well. We do have a little bit of a bi uh, bias to the buy side here, but uh, certainly not something that I would get too excited about or hang my hat on. Pfizer closed fairly weak, and uh, VMware. Uh, is uh, is attempting to break out, so definitely keep an eye on uh, on that one for for Monday VMware. Moving on to the housing names, a little bit on the sell side here, but only only two of them. There's only one CPS, and that's Lowe's. That one closed fairly weakly. We had a strong close in a lot of the home builders. DHI, uh, very very strong, more than two percent above the day's open. Havnanian and Toll Brothers all had very very robust days. As far as the transports go, uh, not seeing too much there. FedEx uh, did rebound. They posted earnings last week, and after they were uh, digested, they kind of circled the wagons and, and, and uh, had a pretty good close to the week there in FDX. Finally, moving on to the commodities, uh, perhaps a little bit to the sell side here, but there was a rebalance in the GDX, so uh, just figure that in as you're uh, going forward next week. May, may take a day to settle down. Uh, Mosaic MOS. Uh, not a metal manufacturer, that's an agricultural stock, was more than 2% above the day's open. And uh, U.S. Steel was more than 2% below the day's open. Real, real weak there. All right, folks, well, good luck next week. Until then, this has been Rich for TradeSite.